Welcome back gamers. Today we're diving into the wild, wild west of grit because I've got 10 things I wish I knew before stepping foot onto this dusty battleground. And hey, stick around to the end because I'm going to throw in a little challenge for you. Can you spot the one tip I completely made up? Let's find out. Number 10. Let's talk about the golden horse. This four-legged beauty is invincible. The center of the storm tracks it, so keep an eye on the map to predict its path. Oh, and here's a sneaky trick. When riding the horse during the calamity, you won't take damage if you're standing still or moving slower than a snail on tranquilizers. Grit is a precious resource that can save your hide. It slowly regenerates your health until you're back to tip-top shape or until you run out of grit. Plus, it gives you a little extra pep in your step which comes in handy when you find yourself in a heated gunfight. And where do you get this magical elixir? Simple, my friend. Just chug some good old whiskey straight out of a dirty bottle, the cowboy way. Ah, the crown game mode, where you feel like a true king or a king-sized target. Once you grab that crown, you'll be blessed with full grit and armor, as well as any weapon you pick up while wearing it becomes the highest rarity. Here's the catch. While wearing the crown, an orange beam of light shoots out of it, practically screaming, hey, look at me. And to make matters worse, if someone lands a headshot on you, they become the new king as the crown is transported to them. Now, in both horse and crown game modes, let's talk about strategic map markers. Placing one near the approximate center of the first circle can give you a clue about where these things are spawning. Land next to it, avoid it, the choice is yours, just don't forget, X marks the spot, and when it is no longer the center of the circle, it can be used to tell which direction they are traveling and cut them off at the pass. Picture this, you meet an early demise within the first six minutes of the game. Fear not, for you have a shot at redemption. Win a duel against another fallen cowboy and you'll find yourself resurrected. And guess what? You'll come back to life with a golden pistol and some ammo. Now, when I started playing, I would always go for the salty run back and try to take out that ugly son of a bitch that shot me in the back and stole all of my shit. But you never seen a cowboy movie end that way. The hero isn't mentally prepared to extract the vengeance they seek. First, they must kill everyone else in the game and learn some sort of valuable lesson about friendship or horses. And only then can they defeat the boss in the final showdown as is tradition. Did you know that most guns have a secondary fire mode? By pressing the B key, you can unleash a special secondary fire mode. Double barrel shotgun blast? Rapid fire frenzy? It's like having an ace up your sleeve at the poker table. Armor is the cowboy's best friend when it comes to staying alive. You can find it in green, blue, and golden plate varieties, each providing different levels of protection. If your armor takes a beating, fear not. Repair kits can bring it back to its former glory. But here's a pro tip. Save those kits for when you're out in the middle of nowhere, because by picking up new armor, you can instantly repair your old armor. Let's talk about accuracy, partner. Most guns have terrible aim by default, especially when you're on the move. But fear not, there's a secret technique. Hold down that right mouse button to focus. It slows your movement speed to a crawl, but transforms you into a sharpshooter. Remember, slow and steady wins the showdown, unless you're using a weapon that has a circular crosshair, such as a shotgun. These weapons are better for running and jumping around, so you almost never want to use right-click aim with them, or you'll be a sitting duck. Speaking of accuracy, did you know that while aiming down sights, you can zoom in even further? Hold down the sprint or shift key for a limited time, your shots will hit their mark with even greater precision. The rarer the weapon is, typically the longer you can enjoy this benefit. And finally, let's talk about trains. These are not simply for transporting goods and whistling Dixie. No siree, jump aboard a train in grit and you'll find all sorts of surprises. At each station, the crates restock with weapons, ammo, and other goodies. Passengers can start and stop the train from the engine car, and if you use a melee weapon on the coal, it will cause the train to speed up. But remember, trains can be a bit buggy at this time, so watch your step and be ready for unexpected hurdles. And one thing's for sure, those train rides won't give you any armor, so make sure to suit up before hopping on board. And there you have it folks, 10 tips to help you ride off into the sunset of grit like a seasoned cowboy. But before you ride off, let's answer the ultimate question. Which tip did I completely make up? 
Leave your guesses in the comments below, and let's see who's got the sharpest eye in the wild wild comments section. Which tip did you find most helpful? Do you have any tips of your own for these greenhorns? Stay gritty, my friends. Yeah, Mr. Laser. Here it comes. Here it comes. You will be destroyed. You're going down. The explosion will be of extraordinary magnitude. Just hang on. It takes a while. Oh, God, my back!